about to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here My name is Vicky and I'm a mum of three boys and I do lots of food content on this channel so if that's your kind of thing then make sure you stick around and subscribe. So this week I thought I'd do something a little bit different and film some of my breakfasts. Now breakfast is my absolute favourite meal of the day, it always has been. I always wake up starving and if I have a decent breakfast then I'm good for the day and if I don't then I'm just hangry and miserable. <laughs> so I always like to change it up. I'm definitely a more savoury person but I have got some sweet breakfast in as well because sometimes my mood just changes, you know what we're like. So I'm going to take you through a few of my favourite breakfasts and I hope you enjoy this video. Right so one of my all-time favourite breakfasts, this is like my go-to when I'm feeling a bit hungrier, is an omelette wrap. I've got some of this rapeseed oil spray, I get this in Tesco and it doesn't ruin your pans like Frylight does so I'm just going to give it a few sprays and then I'm going to crack my eggs straight into my pan. So I'm just using two free range eggs. I haven't turned the heat on yet because otherwise by the time I've cracked them in they start to turn into fried eggs. So now I'm ready, I'm going to turn the heat on and now I'm just going to whisk them up a little bit. I'm going to add some salt and some black pepper. So while that's starting to cook, I'm going to get a wrap. I've just got these ones from Little uh, Rowan Hill. They're just plain tortilla wraps. And I'll just take one of those. So I've just got a wrap and I'm going to pop that in the microwave for 30 seconds. Right, so now my egg is starting to set a little. This is like the really important part. <laughs> Not really. Basically, I just get a slice of ham or two and lay it in the middle. And next up, this is the important step. <laughs> We've got some Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce. Obviously, you don't have to use this, but I find it makes it amazing. And I just drizzle some, and it comes out really fast, just along the middle of the ham and so we'll just leave that's the sink by the way dishwashers go in um, when it's starting to set a little bit I'm just going to fold it in half and some of your franks might ooze out and it goes like crispy <laughs> so I'm just going to leave that to carry on cooking. Fingers crossed. So I've got my wrap out of the microwave, and what I do now is I just lay a little bit of ketchup along the middle. And my omelette is done. Now, what you want to try and do is put your omelette over to one side. So that it kind of follows the curve of the wrap. Makes all the difference when rolling it, trust me, if you see what I mean. And now I'm going to roll it up. Because you've microwaved your wrap, they're nice and soft. The next vital is so simple. <laughs> Sound like Nigella Lawson. The next vital step. Now it's really important now, give it a little squish and then leave it. Like you want to leave it for probably two or three minutes because then all the ketchup and the egg and the franks and everything will all kind of soak in. If you try and eat this now, it will just splurt everywhere. So there we go. I will cut it in half and show you. But yeah, it's really important that you let it sit. But I'm really hungry so I don't want to leave it. That's what the middle looks like. And that's it. Franks is already going everywhere. And this is filling. And it's one of my absolute favourite breakfasts. And you can add anything you like. You could put bacon, mushroom, tomatoes. I like to keep it quite simple. But yeah, one of my absolute favourite breakfasts. 
Right, so I'm just going to show you another one of our absolute favourite breakfasts. This is more of a weekend one for the boys because I don't suppose it takes that much longer, but it feels like more of a faff. It's basically a peanut butter and banana like smoothie. So you just need some, obviously, peanut butter and a banana. Um, I've got some ice, some milk, and then the secret ingredient, which is a date. I'm just going to blend it all up in my blender. And then that's it, really. Right, so in here I've got about 300 ml of semi-skimmed milk and I put a big spoon of peanut butter. I'd say it's probably a large tablespoon. This is actually a soup spoon, just for reference. So I'm gonna put that in. I can't believe I didn't press record when I put it in the first time, so I've had to fish it out. So I've got my banana, I'm just gonna break that up. Whoa, and gently place that in. Sorry about the dishwasher noise, but if it's morning in this house, then the dishwasher and the washing machine will be going. I've also got some ice. About three chunks of ice, and then we're going to add in. I'm actually going to put two dates, but these have got stones in, so I'm going to make sure I take the stones out first. Otherwise, you're not going to have a very nice milkshake. I'm going to pop two of those in, and this just gives it a really nice toffee flavour. Put those in. So for this morning's breakfast, I've got another bagel, kind of obsessed with bagels at the moment. And I've just made some scrambled egg and I've put a little bit of cream cheese on the bagel. And I'm gonna have some scrambled egg. And then I'm going to have a slice of ham. And then on top of that, I'm going to put some fresh chives because it goes really nicely with scrambled egg. And that is this morning's breakfast. Scrambled egg with ham and chives with a little bit of cream cheese. Right, so for this morning's breakfast, I'm going to be making some baked oats. This is just a really nice filling recipe and it almost comes out a little bit like a cake. So if you wake up feeling like something sweet and cakey but don't want to reach for the donuts, then this is a good one. So I've got some eggs. I'm gonna put blueberries in mine. You can put whatever you like in them. Some people put raspberries or you can just put cinnamon. You can add peanut butter. I've got some maple syrup to sweeten. I'm using some plain soya um, yogurt alternative and some oats. So first off, I'm gonna put 40 grams of porridge oats. There are lots of variations on this recipe. I think everyone I've seen do it has made it completely differently, <laughs> but this is how I'm doing it. I'm gonna mix in one egg. These are quite big eggs. A hundred grams of yogurt. And I am going to put squeeze of maple syrup. I'm also going to add a little bit of salted caramel flavouring. You get I got this in Tesco. I absolutely love putting this in porridge. I'm just going to add a few drops of that. Okay, more than a few drops. And then I'm going to throw in a handful of blueberries. And then what you want to do is preheat your oven to around 200 degrees and then this goes in a bowl and cooks for 30 minutes. So I'm going to put a few in and then I'm also going to pop a few on top as well. You can see that. It's like... Oh, dropped a blueberry. I'm going to put a few extra blueberries on top. Look at the state of my hands now. And this is going to go in the oven for half an hour. So here is the baked oats out of the oven. And as you can see, the blueberries on top have gone all nice and sticky. Now you can serve this with some plain natural yogurt if you want, or just eat it on its own. And it's almost cake-like. It's just so good. So this morning's breakfast is a little bit different, and a lot of you probably won't like the idea of it, but... 
it's one of my favourites, so I'm including it. I've just got some of these salt and vinegar rice cakes. They're like Snapper Jacks or Tesco ones. I think these ones are the Tesco ones. So I've just got three of those, and then I've got two boiled eggs and mix them with a little bit of light mayonnaise. And then I, yes, I put it on the salt and vinegar rice cakes. And then I top it with loads and loads of black pepper and cucumber. And it's just one of my go-to breakfasts. And I know lots of you are probably going to be thinking, oh, no, I don't think so. But Steve loves it. Oscar loves it. It's a really good lunch as well. And it's really filling, but not that bad for you, especially with the light mayonnaise. I mean, the rice cakes are high fiber anyway and low fat. And I just think sometimes when I wake up, I'm in such, well, I'm a really savoury person anyway, but there you go, I'm just going to top that with tons of black pepper. And that's my breakfast. So here is our breakfast all done. We've got avocado on bagel, poached eggs, we've got some smoked paprika. I put a little bit of smoked paprika on the halloumi and vine roasted tomatoes. And we're going to have some of this sauce shop sauce. Yeah, <laughs> sauce shop sauce. sauce smoked that. chipotle. Got my flowers. Yeah. Got another one inside. Got a little seating area yeah it's good Let's sit and have our break right so this morning i'm actually going to make oscar a smoothie this is a really good way to get fruit into your children if they're not that keen although my kids are very keen on fruit they eat a lot. i love these frozen fruit mixes they're just really handy this has got melon balls pineapple pie, papaya and mango and it just saves you buying too much fresh fruit and then having it go off especially in the warm weather so i'm just going to put a few different chunks in, some pineapple, some papaya, I'm also going to add some frozen blueberries, and I've got a frozen banana, every time my bananas start to go brown, I've probably said this a million times, I just peel them and pop them in the freezer. I usually have a sandwich bag full of them, but I used all those up, so I'm going to break that up and pop that in. Whoa. And I'm going to put some of this soya yogurt alternative, a couple of spoons of that. And then I'm going to put some milk. And just blend it until it's smooth. And here we are in the glass. It's really, really thick. It's almost like ice cream consistency. And it's packed full of fruit. And that is another really good breakfast and I'm sure Oscar is going to So this morning I'm going for kind of a McDonald's flatbread style breakfast. So we've got these deli kitchen flatbreads, I use these all the time. And I've got some scrambled egg, or I'm going to make it into like an omelette. Cheese slices. I've got some sausages left over from our barbecue in the microwave. And we're going to break out the really, really expensive sauce that I bought that I keep going on about. Um, this is a smoky chipotle ketchup. I'm just going to layer it up in these and wrap them up. So I'm just going to make my egg sort of omelette kind of thing to put in the wraps. This is just some basic scrambled egg mixture or omelette mixture, four eggs, a little bit of salt, a little bit of nutritional yeast. Um, I'm making more than two of these by the way. I'm just going to do some extras and then the boys can have them heated up when they actually get out of their beds. And while that's cooking, I'm going to assemble. I think I'm going to go in with a little... Oh, it smells lovely. Cheese slice. In the middle. Cooking nicely. Almost done. I think what I'm going to do is cut this into four so that it fits in. Mm. <laughs> mm. 
barbecue sausage. And now for the fun part. That's what it looks like close up. <laughs> Just in case you need it to see. And these are really soft as well, these um, flatbreads, I really like them. And that's what I've got for breakfast today. So another breakfast favourite of mine is just a bagel with some crunchy peanut butter. We use this whole earth one and banana on top, very self-explanatory. This is such a nice peanut butter, it's like so thick. You know, some of them are really runny. This one's like solid, um, doesn't seem to have as much oil in it. And the peanuts are really nicely roasted. <laughs> That sounds ridiculous, but it's true when you compare it to the cheaper ones, it does make all the difference. Don't bother with butter as well because you've got oil. That's just the washing machine going as it always is in this house. Oh, I hate it when you can't get bananas open. Why is this one so difficult? I know, it's because I'm filming. I'm forever going to be known as the woman that can't open bananas. Oh, come on. Yeah, so this is real life, isn't it? Sometimes you just can't, can't do it. I think it's because this one's on its way. Now Hobbs has decided to have a drink. Oh dear, I couldn't make it up. Is that nice down there, mister? Another day, another breakfast. Put it in the sunshine, it looks nice. <laughs> There we go, peanut butter and banana bagel. Right, so I'm just about to do a prepare ahead breakfast for tomorrow. So I'm going to make some overnight oats. I'm going to do this for two people. Um, if I'm making it, I might as well make a bigger one. So I'm going to use 100 grams of oats. I'm going to use about 60 grams of yogurt. You can use any yogurt, you can use flavoured yogurt. Right, so I've got 60 grams of yogurt. I'm now going to add 200 ml of coconut milk. I'm going to add a big scoop of peanut butter. I'm just using up whatever's left in this jar, so that's probably a good heaped tablespoon. I'm going to put a cap full of vanilla extract. I'm going to add some blueberries into mine. And I'm also going to use probably a little, about a teaspoon of sweetener. You could use sugar, you could have maple syrup. All I'm going to do is pop the lid on. You can add any fruit you like to this and it keeps for a long time in the fridge. If you use banana, you really need to use it the next day. But if you put like strawberries or blueberries or raspberries, it can keep for like three or four days. Pop my lid on and pop it in the fridge. And then by tomorrow morning, it will have soaked up all the liquid and you'll have a really nice thick filling breakfast and they go really creamy. So I'll show you the result tomorrow. Right, so it's the next day now and here are the overnight oats. And you can see that they've gone really nice and thick. The oats have swelled up and it should taste really creamy and peanutty. So I'm just going to dish it up into our two bowls. That's it for this video guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know if you'd like to see more of this kind of thing. Maybe I could do another lunch one or maybe do some more breakfast ones. Um, I'm not sure how many more breakfast ideas I've got, but I'm sure I can think of something. And I will be back very soon with another video. Take care, guys. This is what we waited for.